Hello students, welcome to the course on solutions. So, in the previous video, we have discussed about the colligative properties. Colligative properties are the properties which depends mainly upon the number of solute particles irrespective of their nature of solute as well as the solvent. Okay, such kind of properties are considered as colligative properties. And the examples for colligative properties are relative lowering of vapor pressure, osmotic pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point. Okay, so those things we have discussed in the previous video. And apart from that, one of the colligative property that is relative lowering of vapor pressure that we have studied in brief. Okay, now we will discuss, we will solve some problems on relative lowering of vapor pressure. So in previous video, we have derived the equation of relative lowering of vapor pressure. That is P1 naught minus P1 divided by P1 naught is equal to W2 into M1 divided by M2 into W1. This is the formula to find the relative lowering of vapor pressure. So P1 naught minus P1 divided by P1 naught. This indicates the relative lowering of vapor pressure. Okay. So by using this formula, we will solve some problems. The first problem is the vapor pressure of the pure benzene at a certain temperature is 0 0.850 bar. A non-volatile non-electrolyte solid weighing 0 0.5 gram when added to 39 gram of benzene given that polar mass is 78 grams per mole vapor pressure of the solution then is 0.845 bar. What is the molar mass of the solid substance? Okay, so they ask to they ask to calculate the molar mass of the solid substance. That is a non-electrolyte solute. Okay, now you have to determine the molar mass of the solid substance. In order to calculate the molar mass, you have to use this formula because they have given the vapor pressures of benzene and vapor pressure of solute. Okay, so we will use this formula to calculate the molar mass of the solid substance. Before that, first write down what they have given in the question. All the given things you have to note down first, then you have to use this formula and calculate that. Now, first what we have given, the vapor pressure of the pure benzene. Okay, means here the pure benzene, this one is a solvent. Okay, and the vapor pressure of pure solvent, how we will denote it as? Vapor pressure of pure benzene, that is pure solvent. Okay, so pure benzene is denoted as P1 naught. Okay, P1 naught indicates the vapor pressure of pure solvent. And in this question, the pure solvent is benzene. And hence, it is denoted as P1 naught. How much it is? 0 0.850 bar that is the vapor pressure of pure benzene now what they have done they have added a non-volatile solute weighing 0 0.5 gram ok that is the mass of solute mass of solute how will you will denote it as it will be denoted as W2 W2 is the given mass of the solute ok and its mass is 0 0.5 gram and then when added to 39 gram of benzene what they have given 
30 nanogram of benzene that is mass of benzene is solvent so mass of benzene it is denoted as w1 is equal to how much 39 grams so w1 is equal to 39 grams and the molar mass of benzene is 78 grams per mole so molar mass of benzene benzene is 78 grams per mole then vapor pressure of the solution then is 0.845 bar so observe here initially the vapor pressure of pure benzene is 0.850 bar and then we add the solid non volatile solute to that benzene its vapor pressure decreases to 0.845 bar that indicates upon addition of a non volatile solute to any solvent its vapor pressure gets decreases okay and hence after the addition of non electrolyte solid solute the vapor pressure of this solution becomes how you will denote that vapor pressure of solution vapor pressure of solution is denoted as p1 and how much it is 0.845 bar okay all these are the given things and they ask to calculate molar mass of the solute molar mass of the solute it is denoted as m2 and that is question bar that we need to calculate and here molar mass of benzene it is the solvent so it is denoted as capital m1 now by using this given data use the formula and substitute the values you will get the answer so what is the formula p1 not minus p1 divided by p1 not is equal to w2 into m1 divided by m2 into w1 so what you need to calculate w2 so first substitute the values in this formula what is p1 not p1 not is 0.850 Minus P1. How much it is? 0.845. 0.845 divided by again P1 not is 0.850. That is equal to W2. W2 is mass of the solute, and that is 0.5 gram into capital M1. That is molar mass of solvent that is benzene how much it is 78 gram per mole divided by m2 that we need to calculate so keep it as this and w1 w1 is the mass of solvent that is benzene how much they are given 39 gram okay so simplify this 0.850 minus 0.845 that will give you 0.005 divided by 0.850 that is equal to 39 0.5 into 78 is 39 divided by m2 into 39 39 39 get cancels what it becomes 0.005 Divided by 0.850 is equal to one divided by m2. So I want the m2 cross multiplies. What will you get? M2 is equal to 0.850 divided by 0.005. So how much you will get? M2 is equal to 170 grams per More 0.850 divided by 0.005 that 
gives 170 that is the molar mass of the solute m2 is 170 grams per mole this is how we will solve the problems which are asked on relative lowering of vapor pressure one of the very important question okay they may ask anything okay, by their by doing m2 they may ask what is m1 or w2 w1 they may ask anything by giving other data okay and it is also very important for annual examination among these four qualitative properties those are relative lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure among these four you will going to get at least one problem on these qualitative properties okay okay students the next example of an oligative property is elevation of boiling point which is denoted as delta P. So what does this elevation of boiling point means? Here simply consider a water and you know its boiling point is 373.15 Kelvin. But before that you must know what is boiling point of any liquid. Boiling point of the liquid is nothing but the temperature at which vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, when the vapor pressure gets equal to the atmospheric pressure, then that temperature is considered as a boiling point of that liquid. Okay, the boiling point of a solution or liquid is the temperature at which vapor pressure it becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. Okay, now here the boiling point of water is 373.15 Kelvin. That means the vapor pressure of the water equal to the atmospheric pressure at the temperature of 373.15 Kelvin. Now, if I add a non-volatile solute to this water, okay, that is a solvent, upon addition of a non-volatile solute to this solvent, what happens to the boiling point of this solution, whether it increases or decreases? As you already know, upon addition of a non-volatile solute, the vapor pressure of the solution decreases. Okay? The addition of non-volatile solutes results in the decrease in the vapor pressure of the solvent. And hence, when vapor pressure decreases, you need to supply more amount of heat energy to this water in order to boil that water because to boil the water you should satisfy this condition that is vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure but due to addition of solute the vapor pressure of the water has decreased now in order to increase its vapor pressure you need to supply more amount of heat energy as a result of that the temperature gets increases ok so the temperature of the solution increases because of decrease in vapor pressure you need to supply more amount of heat energy at high temperature the vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure and the water will start to boil but but not at 373.15 Kelvin but it would be greater than 373.15 Kelvin depending upon how much solute you have added to the solvent based on that the boiling point of the solution increases Okay, and that increase in boiling point of the solution upon addition of a non-volatile solute is known as elevation in 
boiling point. Okay, that can be seen in this graph. When a graph is plotted of vapor pressure against temperature, then here the first this red line curve it indicates the boiling point of solvent, and this blue line indicates the boiling point of solution. Okay, so here Tb naught. This is the boiling point of solvent. At this temperature, the sol solvent starts to boil. Okay, that is represented as Tb naught. Tb naught is the boiling point of pure solvent. And here Tb, this indicates the boiling point of solution. The temperature at which the solution will start to boil. Which is indicated by T. So from this graph, graph, you can see that the temperature has been increased upon addition of non-volatile solute. Okay. So the boiling point of solution is more as compared to boiling point of the solvent. Okay. Due to the decrease in the vapor pressure of the solution. And this elevation of boiling point. It can be denoted as delta Tb change in boiling point of the solvent. That is calculated as Tb minus Tb naught. Tb minus Tb naught. Here Tb is the boiling point of solution which consists of a non-volatile solute, and Tb naught is the boiling point of pure solvent. So, if you take the difference between the boiling point of solution and boiling point of solvent, you will get the elevation in boiling point. And this elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molar concentration of the solution. So, as molarity increases, that means when the number of moles of solute increases in the given mass of solvent, then the elevation in boiling point will also increase. Greater the amount of solute in the solvent, more will be the elevation of boiling point for that solution. So you can write it as delta Tb is directly proportional to small m, where small m is molar concentration small m is molar concentration okay and this is further written as delta T B is equal to remove the proportionality sign and substitute the equal and take one constant that is k b k b into m where k b is a constant which is known as molar elevation boiling constant molar elevation boiling constant or it is also known as ebullioscopic constant ebullioscopic constant the unit of kb is Kelvin kg per mole. Kelvin kg per mole. So this is the equation for elevation of boiling point. Delta V T is equal to kb into y. Okay, students. Here this is the equation that we have. But if we add a particular amount of solute to the given solvent. Okay, at such type of conditions, how to calculate the elevation of a boiling point? Because here we have only molarity. If molarity is given and Kb is given, then we can directly find the elevation of boiling point. But if they have given the mass of solvent and mass of solute, in such type of condition, we have to simplify this formula in order to get the elevation in boiling point. So, see here, 
M means molality. So M molality. How will be define it as? It will be defined as number of moles of solute. Number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. Mass of solvent in kg. So number of moles of solute it is denoted as M2 and mass of solvent in kg this is denoted as W1 that is in kg suppose if you want to find it in grams okay so if they have given in grams and you need to convert that into kg at such conditions W1 it should be, it can be divided by 1000 okay in such conditions W1 should be divided by 1000 in order to get the answer in terms of kg and what is N2 here? N2 means number of moles. Okay. So first I will simplify this N2 divided by W1 into 1000. Okay. What it becomes? N2 into 1000 divided by W1. And what is N2? N2 means number of moles of solute. So number of moles of solute, how you will calculate the given mass of solute that is W2 denoted as W2 divided by molar mass of the solute. So N2 is equal to W2 divided by M2. Substitute the value of N2 in this equation. What you will get? W2 divided by M2 into 1000 divided by W1. Okay, then simplify this W2, M2 will come here, so W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1, that is the value of M, molarity. Now we need to find elevation of boiling point. Now substitute the value of M in the equation of Elevation of boiling point that is delta dB is equal to AB into M. Substitute the value of M in this equation. What it becomes? Delta dB is equal to KB into M means W2 into 1000 whole divided by M2 into W1. So, this is the equation which is used to find the elevation of boiling point if the mass of the solvent solute are given and if we want to find the molar mass of the solute that is M2. So, we will simply rearrange this equation then M2 becomes equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 divided by delta Kb into W1. So this equation is used to find the molar mass of the solute. And remember, in almost in most of the time, you will need to find the molar mass of the solute. Okay, in the problems. So this is the formula which is used to find the elevation of boiling point where Kb is molar elevation constant W2 mass of solute delta Tb elevation of boiling point W1 mass of solvent and M2 molar mass of solute 